Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the new gain and expo settings, uh, some pretty powerful new settings for the Mavic 3. A couple days ago, I uploaded a video going over all the new features of the latest firmware. And in the next few videos, I'm just gonna be diving in deeper to each individual upgrade and taking a closer look at it. So today, what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the expo settings. And a lot of people have been waiting for this. What we can do now is set the speed of each individual mode for cine mode, normal mode, and sport mode. So if you found that cine mode was flying a little too fast, you can actually slow that down now. And that also works for the ascent speed and descent speed. And of course, yeah, you know, like we always had a lot of those settings. Uh, but that's actually a powerful new tool. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at that now. So with this latest round of firmware updates, I think myself, uh, one of the tools that I'm going to enjoy the most is the new gain and expo settings. And of course, we've always had control of that, but they did add some new ones that can be very important to some people. And mainly it's basically your forward moving speed, your upward moving speed, downward moving speed. You can control all of that now, which you weren't able to do before. And that can be very important when you're in cine smooth mode. So let's go ahead. We're going to put it in cine smooth mode here. And you can see when I'm flying forward right now, the default setting. And of course, you know, wind will make uh, or play into that, that as well. But you can see here we're moving at 18 kilometers per hour. If you check that uh, setting down there at the bottom. But what we can do now here, if we go into our settings and then we go over to control, you can see when we go into gain and expo tuning, at the top there we have cine mode, normal mode, and sport mode. But as you can see, we have the setting now, it says max horizontal speed. We also have max ascent speed, max descent speed. But we can slow that right down. As you can see, we can go right down to 3.6 kilometers per hour. Of course, if you're in the US, you'll be using miles per hour. But now when we go back and we push full stick forward, in cine mode, you can see there that the drone is just barely moving. Now we're up fairly high here, so you're not going to see that movement if we lower the uh, altitude a bit. But as you can see, we're just moving there just ever so nicely. And uh, that can be very important to some people if you're trying to get some really slow cinematic moves. Being able to adjust your forward motion, the speed of which you're traveling is uh, very important. And as mentioned, you can also adjust that for sport mode and for normal mode as well. If you find normal mode, you're moving still a little too fast, you can uh, bump that down a little bit. So yeah, to me, that's a pretty important update. I know there was a lot of creators really pushing DJI to bring that feature. Uh, Philip Bloom made many videos about it. You know, thankful for creators like that. Uh, we get these new features. Well, folks, that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it had value. Just a quick look at some of the new expo and gain settings. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It's greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.